everybody. My name is Max Kagan. Welcome to Max and Ben Talk Hockey. We're with Ben today and Kyle Kukkonen. Uh, Kyle played for Maple Grove High up in Minnesota. Uh, today we're going to be covering first overall picks from 2020 and working our way down. Um, so let's start by asking Kyle what his favorite NHL team is. Uh, I'd have to go with the favorite NHL team is the Pittsburgh Penguins. I've always been a big fan of watching Sidney Crosby, so I'd have to go with them as my number one team, but then uh, there's nothing like the Excel Energy Center, so I'd go the Wilder up there too. For sure, yeah. Um, all right, so we're going to start in 2020. Uh, that's going to be uh, – we're going to start with Ben because he's a Rangers fan, so let's let's start. i got to pull up the quiz. Uh, it's just loading. Uh, the website. All right, so we got Sporkle. we got 10 minutes. Uh, I don't think we're, we're definitely not going to get down to 1969 – I want to get down to 2000. If we can get uh, into the 1990s, that'd be great. But we have 10 minutes, so we don't know how it's going to be. Uh, but I think it's going to be fun anyway. So we're going to start as a Rangers fan. It's pretty easy. Uh, Lexi Lafreniere is going to be a star in the league. I sure hope so. Uh, all right, Kyle, your turn. 2019. Um, man. Um, is that Darlene or is that the year before? Uh, that was the year before. Shoot. Oh, that was huge. My bad. No, it's all good. Uh, I guess, Max, you go 17. Also, double. Uh, yeah, that was uh, Nico Heischer, right? Spells that same. Okay, well, we know it's Nico Heischer, so I guess <laughs> I, I have no idea how to spell his name. Swiss. Have... So, <laughs> I'll just say that. Uh, 2016, easy. Awesome Matthews. Be honestly, best goal scorer in the league. Uh, scored more goals than a Vetchkin. So, Kyle, your turn. 2015, Oilers. Uh, Connor McDavid. Yeah, best player in the league, Max, 2014. 2014. What team was that again? It's Florida. It says uh, uh, after – it gives you the team, so there's your okay. Floor. That was Ekblad, right? Yep, Aaron Ekblad. Uh, I think he's a pretty good defenseman. All right, and I go with 2013. I think it's – Yep, Nathan McKinnon. All right, Kyle, you go 2012, also Oilers. Um, is that Nugent Hopkins? No, that's the year before. They got too many picks. Oh, man. No, they were bad. For <laughs> um, I'm not sure. You guys know? Uh, I mean, I know mostly because he's the biggest bust. <laughs> uh, was it Yakupov, right? Yeah, Yakupov. Yeah. Yeah, he was interesting to say the least. Coming out from Sonia. Uh, yeah. Max, you get 2010, also Oilers. Uh, oh, that's Hall, right? Taylor Hall. Oh, Max, flip your screen again. Like that? Yeah. All right. All right, my turn. New York Islanders, the team I hate the most. <laughs> uh, well, I know he's not on the Islanders anymore, and he's on the team that really likes to blow 3-1 series leads, so Johnny T. Uh, all right, Kyle, you get Tampa Bay, so 2008. Tampa Bay. Oh, man. I have no idea. Let's see. Really? Um, the forward or D? He's a forward. Stammer. Yep. That's Steve, Steve Stamkos. Uh, Max, 07. Uh, Chicago. Patty Kane. Okay, I was worried there. <laughs> uh, 
St. Louis in 06. Jeez. I have no, <laughs> no clue about that one. Jeez. It's not Tarasenko because he was drafted later. Johnny Taze went third overall. This guy is not bad. He's not a bust, but he's not like great. Uh, wait. Mm, I think this is out of the blue. If I get this right. Mm, uh, okay. Okay. Thank God. I got it. It's Eric Johnson. He's, I, I remember him. I remember him playing on the blues and then he signed, or I think he got traded to the abs. I know he's on the abs. Uh, so Kyle Penguins, your team. Oh, five. Uh, the most complete player in the league, Sidney Crosby. Yeah. I have to agree on, um, on you with that, like, what, what do you like the most about Crosby's game? Uh, I think just so his ability to go in all the corners where it's offensive or defensive. He's not a real tall guy, but he's so wide and strong and effective in all three zones, and I like that about him. Yeah, I mean, I, I love watching him. He's on the highlight reel a couple times. I remember one time against the Rangers, he tried to do, like, that backhand lacrosse thing. That was, like, yep. that was the weirdest thing I've seen. Because like I was watching that game on TV, and as I did it, I'm like, "There's no way he could. And there's no way he did it." Yeah, it's it close. So hard to do. All right, Max, you get uh, 04, the Capitals. That was Ovechkin, right? Yep. And the next one's Pittsburgh. So should we go back to Kyle? Yeah, let's go back to Kyle. 03, Pittsburgh. Is that Malkin? No, it's not. Man, I don't. It's not Malkin. It's a ten D. We can give flurry. You that. I was gonna the flurry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll give you. We'll, 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 we can give you a hint on that. It's. I know it was both. That was my second guess, but I oh, couldn't remember where Malkin went. Oh, uh, I think Malkin went second in in Ovechkin's draft. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. So I go. 2002, he's not remembered as a Blue Jackets legend. He's remembered as a Rangers legend, Rick Nash, of course. Uh, he's also remembered as a Bruins legend. Shout out, Max. He played there for yep. 40 games and did absolutely <laughs> nothing. So. Yes. Yep. Kyle, you get Atlanta in 01. Oh, that's a hard one. <laughs> uh, I'll give you a hint. He's a forward. Another hint, he's Russian. Forward Russian. And who are they? What team's the, the Thrashers now? Why am I blanking? Jets. He's not on the Jets anymore. Jets. He played for Montreal, I think, last year. Montreal. Montreal. He played for the Devils. He played for the Kings. He retired to go play in the KHL and he made his return. Oh, Kovalchuk. Yep. There we go. All right, Max, 2000. That's Islanders, right? Yep. Dean Pietro. <laughs> uh, if there's anything we can joke on for Islanders fans, it's them uh, choking when it means most in Game 7s. And, well, paying a guy a lot of money to do absolutely nothing until 2026. True story. Okay. <laughs> uh all right, so we got to 2000. That was our goal. I guess now we can go further. So I get 99. I'll try not to miss the empty net on this one. Oh, that was a good, that was a good one. <laughs> Kyle, have you seen that clip? Uh, I think so. What? I think so, yeah. Yeah, it was that guy in like, yeah, it was in like the early 2000s, had a wide open net and just flubbed it. Yeah. Yep, and that was Stefan. Uh, you get 1998 for Tampa. Forward, I'm running out of juice right now. I don't know. Uh, forward, <laughs> French Canadian. Forward, French. Retired or is he still going? Retired. St. Louis. Is he Canadian? He is Canadian, but he is not first overall. I actually think he went undrafted. Marty St. Louis. Um, I'm going to have to pass that to you guys. Max, do you know? Because I know the answer. So, 
Uh, damn. Is it Lee Cad? Uh, wait. Yeah, Vinny, right? Yeah, it's Vinny Lecavley. I really don't know how to spell it. <laughs> and we have less than a minute, so I'm not even going to bother. So I know we got that. 97 is Max. You go. Boston. Uh, yeah, Joe Thornton, right? Yep, Joe Thornton. I'm uh, kind of screwed up. 97, though. <laughs> yeah, uh, I get 96. Uh, I think it's Brian Burrard. Oh, no, that's 95. Okay, then I think 96 is it's Chris Phillips. All right, Kyle, you get Florida Panthers, 94. Hmm. Forward or D? I have no idea once it gets this late. <laughs> He's a defenseman, uh, obviously retired. We have three seconds left. Uh, I actually don't know. I, I think it was Jovanovski. So, yeah. So we got. Yeah, 90. I would not have gotten that. No, I had no yeah. idea. Yeah. So we got. How many was it? It was twenty-five years. That's a lot better than I thought we would do. Uh, so that's that quiz. That's ten minutes of guessing first overall picks from every single year. If you want to look at the list that we didn't get to, you get uh, you get Eric Lindros, the big E, uh, Matt Sundin, Medano, uh, Kyle, your opinion, who's the best American player, Medano or Kane? I got to go Kane. Yeah, I mean, I agree. Kane's he's, he's an absolute legend in the sport. Created some very memorable moments, won three Stanley Cups, carried them, carried the Blackhawks on his back. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Another guy, he carried the Penguins on his back, Mario Lemieux. Oh, yeah. Yep. And then you get Dale Howarchuk. Uh, going way back, you get Gila Fleur. So, Max, I know you're also a Habs fan. So, you get Gila yeah. Fleur. You get Gilbert Perot in Buffalo. So, very big names in this list. Uh, hopefully, in 2021, we get to see a better player. Uh, join this list, which is going to be on Friday. So stay tuned for that. All right, I'm going to stop sharing. So, Kyle, I uh, hope you had fun with that. That was a fun quiz for all of us. Yeah, I did better than I thought I would, but you guys seem to know your stuff, so. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, uh, for, like, I, I want to say, like, the first 15 years, it's just guys that are still in the league. Most of them are still stu- superstars. Well, yeah, so that's going to do it. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Kyle, uh, uh, thank you so much for letting us interview you or at least do the quiz with you. Thanks for having me on. It was a lot of fun. Like and subscribe for these guys. Thank you. Uh, we'll stay in contact. Good luck in the NHL draft. We're rooting for you. Hope you get drafted. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, I hope you get drafted by Rangers, of course. <laughs> yeah, all right. Thank, thanks, everyone, for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later.